Hi everyone. We are going to see how to install Linux operating system. And we are going to use Red Hat RHCL 6 version using VMware. And we are going to install it virtually. And let me explain you what is virtually. Virtualization is, is the act of creating virtual version of something which is nothing but we are not going to use any physical hardware of your device but we are making use of your physical hardware with the software and you can able to use it in different applications initially let us see how we have to make some hardware changes before installing the Linux operating system in VMware Once the VMware setup is installed, you can find the home page like this. Before installing the Linux operating system, we need to perform few hardware settings virtually. So we can proceed with the hardware settings. Click on this new virtual machine option where you can find a new wizard. You need to select this typical and click on next button. You can find few options like DVD and the ISO image which should be already installed in your self system before installing the virtual machine. You need to browse the location for the ISO image where you have exactly saved your ISO in the system. I am going to browse the location now. I have saved my ISO image in my desktop. So this is the ISO image I already saved. Click on this and select open this is the iso image path it's a rhcl 6.0 version 32 bit iso image please click on next button here you can give your full name as your virtual machine name in this window you need to enter your full name and uh, user details as per your user requirement we need to mention the password and confirm password so you need to make use of this username and password as a root account so you please don't forget this username and password for future reference and after entering the password details please click on next here you can uh, name your virtual machine as per the user requirement i am making it as red hat enterprise linux 6 and Check for the location and click on next. Here you can check for the size. As per the user, you can select 20 GB. That is the default. You can increase your size. I'm using it as 25 GB. Select this store visual disk as a single file and click on next. Please enable this option so your uh, virtual machine will be powered on when it is created automatically please click on finish button and the installation process is running currently you can get this found local installation media which is already mapped before we started this process now it's trying to create the file system which is already formatted. Checking for the dependencies. The required packages are installing automatically. Now you can see a desktop image where the process is initiating. Now the required packages are being installed automatically. It will take some time to install all the packages. The packages are being installed now. And in Linux, we have one special feature like you can more than six users can log in. One at a graphical user and five as a 
normal user the procedures are same for all operating system and now we are using Red Hat Enterprise version 6 commonly used Linux versions are CentOS, Ubuntu and other Linux Enterprise editions as we have mentioned we can use both graphical user as well as command line user preferably graphical user is a user friendly login whereas the command line user requirements were coding and scripting most of the red hat services use command line arguments and for security we have Linux as a secured operating system because the normal window files .exe can't be read it saves as a file and it can't be executed automatically this is the one form of security we can also make use of scripting where we can create our own desktop environment whereas in Windows we can't execute it properly this is one of the advantage the packages are already installed it's going to complete and some of the services are running at the background now all the services are running at the background which are being started and verified once the packages are being installed you can get a desktop screen like this where you need to log in with the username and password which you have created before the installation and I'm going to log in with the same username and password So now we are in the desktop environment. You can see default options like my computer, test home, trash. Now let us check the system information. You can you can find applications, places, system option at the top. Please click on the system and select about this computer where your system information is displayed. You can check for the memory information, processor, and the speed of processor and the disk storage. You can check for the processors which are running files performance of your system and the last tab is file systems to increase the performance of your Linux operating system I'm going to increase the RAM size virtually and I'm going to proceed with the information Now I'm going to select the home option in the VMware setup where you have these options like already new virtual machine, new team and open existing VM or team. 
and go I'm going to select this open a system where you need to check for the VMware workstation which you created we can also use the shortcut key which is located at the top you will get a sidebar with the virtual machines created in the system as the machine is powered on now you can't get the options for hardware settings so let us shut down the system and we can make the hardware settings then we can repower it on for shutting down you can select this option system shut down please use the option shut on you will get this window with the hardware information you can see the memory option here the device and options now you have the option hard disk 25 GB now we are going to increase the RAM size for this virtual machine now we are going to change the RAM memory size you can locate edit virtual machine settings in the left side pane please click on this option now you can get the hardware information where you can select which hardware you want to change it or resize I've selected memory here I'm going to increase the RAM size now I'm making it as 1 GB and you can increase it to 2 GB as per your requirement and you can select this option okay now the RAM size has been increased to in this will prefer improve your performance from 1 GB to 2 GB we have increased the RAM size and now you can power on this virtual machine now we came to the desktop screen you can if you want to check the hardware information which you have changed you can go to the system option about this computer now you can see the memory size has been increased to 2 GB in this video we have seen about what is virtualization and the initial configuration of creating a virtual machine also how to install Red Axe Red Hat Linux installation and for more related videos you can visit avg2top.in Thank you.